Hey, happy Saturday to you, everybody. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. We're going to be playing some Kirby 64 on today's stream. But uh, for starters, of course, I'm going to continue with Mario Kart 8 as my warm-up. I'm going to start only doing like a half-hour warm-up of these or so. Because I feel like a full hour is probably a little much. I also, I when I see the warming-up tag, I don't think... I don't think they necessarily mean... Um, I don't think they necessarily mean with a different game, but I am using it however I like, frankly. I can justify it. I don't got to answer to you. I'm going to be, you know, not, uh, I'm going to be a little more gentle with my commentary today because yesterday got a little shouty. You know, end of a game, emotions ran high. It was frustrating, but whatever. You can go watch that. I just finished up Pokemon Legends Arceus, the main game. I, I saw that there is some post-game stuff that uh, gives you gives you a bunch more stuff, and I'm guessing leads to you being able to actually catch Arceus and all that. But uh, for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on hold. Probably, honestly, probably not gonna finish it. I'm not really the type to do the grindy thing. I got a little overzealous with Pokemon Shield and said like, oh, I'm gonna 100% this Pokedex. No, didn't even get close. Didn't even finish the game, actually. I'm still right at that, like, the little end bit. I don't know. I'll 100% I'll some games, you know, like I plan to 100% Kirby 64. But that's mainly because I never did as a kid. I played through it several times, and there's like a little hint in the end cutscene where it's like, ooh, uh, is something, something else gonna happen here? You know, maybe there's something else if you 100%, but I just, I never knew what to do to 100% it, so that's my goal. It's not a super long game, even at 100%, how long to beat has it at seven hours, so that's not too bad. It's also been practicing uh, Doom 2016. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I've been practicing Doom 2016 to do it in a marathon next weekend. And it is so hard. It's so fast. And I'm very, very lackluster at FPSs to begin with. I just never, like, Doom, the original Doom, was more or less the only FPS I ever played as a kid. And I, I appreciated it because it only had one dimension of movement. Gotta keep moving. Yashi, no. No, Yashi! Ech. Um, so yeah, that's why I liked... No, it's too late. That's why I liked Doom. Because you didn't have to look up and down. And so now with modern FPSs, we gotta look like up and down and up and down and all over. With the mouse, it's a little easier, but I don't have it on Mac. I have it on Switch. So, you know, I've gotten better at console FPSs. Uh, Far Cry 6 really helped with that. You know, Doom Doom is certainly, like, it's a crash course. Like, you just gotta get better to be able to get through that game. It's so, so hard, so fast, so precise. But it's fun, and I do love it. Still haven't finished Doom Eternal, but plan to do that at some point. That one, there's just so much more to keep track of in Doom Eternal, you know? <clears throat> there's like, get out of the way, Gakumba. Uh, you got like the, sh the fire jets and the thing, and you can do the melee, and you can do this kind of kill to get that, you can do that kind of kill to do get this. It's, it's a lot to keep track of, so I'm probably gonna just redo that one from the top. Hope that uh, hope that I can do better. But uh, yeah, Doom 2016. It's not a super long game. It's just it's very hard. <clears throat> it's got a lot of big sprawling maps that are like, like intentionally maze-like. So I gotta, I gotta like learn the maps if I'm gonna try and marathon it. Yeah, so that's gonna be my week is just doing that. I want to work on videos, man What I want to do is just work on stuff that'll give me a reason to voice act <clears throat> Excuse me like uh... Whoa, 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 whoa okay. The uh... 
Yeah, the video I had in mind, like, it's gonna have narration and stuff, but I don't know. It's not really what I want to do. I want to do some character stuff. Okay, we're just gonna reset then. <clears throat> So I'm thinking I'm just gonna write some stuff. Do anime? Why not? You know, I can draw okay enough. I'll do some animations. Sure. <clears throat> you know, hire people when I really need to for the other voices, but uh, I, I'll, I'll try and do as many voices as I can. I mean, shoot, look at Ego Raptor, right? Self-made man. He was not. He had a lot of help from other people. You know, like Tom Fulp, he had a great deal of help from in that he wouldn't have had anywhere to put his animations if it wasn't for Newgrounds. Uh, but regardless, like, he did his own animations and his own voice acting, and he just did it because he wanted to be a voice actor first and foremost. So, uh... Do some stuff like that. Why not? Put him on TikTok. People like TikTok. I like TikTok. I, I do quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> I especially like TikTok because I get it more or less uh, curated for me. Because Coco's into TikTok, so I just watch Coco's likes every now and then. Then, uh, then the, it just is the best stuff, you know? I don't have to worry about tracking it down, curating my own stuff. I can just watch the stuff that I already know is great. All the really weird comedy and stuff. <coughs> and I have a grand old time with it. And my voice is a lot more, uh, a lot more rough than I realized today. Definitely be taking it pretty easy. <coughs> oh, I'm just a little, a little phlegmy. I, my allergies are probably kicking up. They be doing that. Yeah. This game is hard, but more importantly, this game is fun. Oh man, hit the gym again today. Trying to go at least three times a week. It's uh, it's rough, even though I only did one arm day this week, I'm feeling crazy sore. Uh, what am I even doing here? I didn't make it in the first one, so let's, uh, yeah, let's reset. I got about a bunch of weird games for Miscellaneous Monday that were on sale. Some uh, some interesting racing games and stuff. So look forward to that. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to finish up Link's Awakening um, sometime soon. You know, maybe, maybe next Monday. Like this upcoming Monday, maybe. I'll think about it. Because I'm not at a loss for games, you know? I got plenty on the docket. But I'm just so close to the end of Link's Awakening, and that's a series that, like, hounded me for so long. I was working at it and working at it, and, uh, it'd be nice to finally finish that. It'd be like closing a chapter. Um, I'd also, like... I would also definitely like to get back to more tabletop stuff. The thing with tabletop streams is they're just a lot more work to set up because you have to set up the board game and the camera and everything. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, you just gotta be talking the whole time because there's no content without you narrating it. And that's, that's a bit exhausting. So while it's fun and I like showing off board games, I don't know, I guess I just don't get enough views to uh, justify it, but I plan on doing a campaign of Root the RPG. I'm pretty much done with the book. Uh, they got their, like, example woodland that I will uh, 
uh, or scenario or whatever. I haven't read it yet, but I'm I'm got that still to read, I guess. But I'm probably gonna make my own woodland and story and everything. I I have at least one idea, but it's really only gonna cover me for uh, you know, one NPC storyline. I need to come up with like the larger plot. And what uh? What it means for the heroes, the Vagabonds. Alright, I think we're good. Right about here. Ah, there we go. Okay, I had a lot of trouble with this first track today for some reason. I think I'm just tired. I had a long week, streamed for quite a while yesterday. Hit the gym. Made a big old pot of pasta sauce. I like making my own spaghetti sauce because like A, I'm pretty sure it is pound for pound cheaper. And in any case, it's like way better than pretty much any like jarred pasta sauce that I've had. And then, yeah, you can just make a big old pot and freeze it and just have have a bunch of spaghetti, noodles, you know, n uh, pasta, dry pasta is super cheap. So it's a good, quick, healthy kind of meal. Add some protein, probably some veggies. You know, maybe have a little garlic bread if you want to be a little, a little naughty. Hey, I won't blame you. It's delicious. Ooh. Yeah, that sauce has got, you know, vitamin C and everything. It's pretty good for you. And it's delicious. You got your, your carbs. Give you plenty of energy. You got your vitamins. You know? I just, yeah, I can't do cream sauces more or less anymore. My, I'm, like, lactose intolerant enough that, like, I can handle cheese. Like, I can handle a little cheese occasionally. But I can't really do just, like, straight up, like, mayo or, like, things that are cream sauce. You know, that's, that's too much. I, I couldn't really do cream cheese on a bagel. That's fine. They make better than cream cheese, which I agree. I think it is better than cream cheese. It's the same thing. It's just a glob of fat, which is delicious, but it's not so good to eat too much fat. Though it is important for your brain. Your brain needs fat to function, so don't don't skimp out. Yeah, for a minute I was doing uh, this waffle, waffle with uh, nut butter for breakfast, and that was that felt pretty good. Um, I don't know, I was just having like, oh, I was having digestive issues because of like some medication my doctor put me on, and I'm only really now starting to finally feel all right again. So maybe I'll go back to that, but yeah, I'm playing my my diet with kid gloves, you know, trying not to uh, not to overwork myself. Not so much with uh, not so much with working out. I'm going hard. I got a lot of catching up to do. I lost like a bunch of muscle being sick. You know, it's like I I went through a lot of fat, which is great. That saves me some time. But then yeah, I lost uh. Lost a decent amount of muscle. All my shirts are like feeling loose. I don't like it. So we're gonna we're gonna fix that up ASAP. But you know you can't you can't rush it. Your body can only gain muscle so fast. If you try and rush it, you're likely to you know pull a tendon or something. Uh, just injure yourself, and that's that'll make it even harder to catch up to what you want your goals, you know. So don't mess around with that either. Keep keep yourself within your limits. 
but also go to, go just a little past your limits to get that growth. That's the tricky thing with bodybuilding, you know, weight training, is that uh, you have to push yourself a little bit because the soreness, that that soreness and that basically injury, like you are tearing your muscles um, on a microscopic level. That is what causes your muscles to grow over time, but you gotta be careful to balance it so that you're not doing, you're not absolutely wrecking yourself. But you also, you know, you can't, you can't really fully control it anyways. No, no, ooh, ooh. Yes, yes, ah! Trading back and forth there. Very close. Very close. I hate that Twitch refreshes every time I close my phone. Because I just want to be able to drop a stream marker in. There we go. Yep, let's let's quit. <coughs> You gotta stay hydrated, kids. It's good for your bones. All right, let's give this another shot. I think I, I got two more attempts, I think. And then I'll switch over to the main game for the night. Yeah, big thing, I just wanna get just want to save up for that new computer, you know? I keep having to put it off, because, like, I had some bills, and I'm still, like, confused. My, my insurance is really dumb about how they tell me about bills. So, like, on the their website, they'll say one thing, and then they'll send me, like, statements that tell me totally different stuff, and I can't tell which one I should expect. So, like... On one end, it's like, you may owe, like, $7. And then on the other, it's like, you may owe, like, $1,500. And it's like, which one? Like, so far, the website has been correct, which is, you know, the cheaper one. Thank goodness. But, yeah, I just, I'm real nervous about just getting dropped, uh, getting a huge bill dropped on me. It, it makes saving a little, uh, a little annoying. It's all good. It's all good. I know, at worst, I think at worst, uh, I'll do the Markiplier thing of when I get my tax refund, which because I am doing my taxes correctly this year, as in, you know, withholding them ahead of time, uh, so that when I pay my quarterlies at the end of the year, I'll have overpaid and I'll get money back. I will take that and I will use it to get a gaming PC. So, you know, it might not be for another year, basically, but it won't be any longer than another year. I think I should be able to get it earlier than that, though. I just... Uh, being an adult is expensive. I, but the thing is, if I get that PC, then it's like, I can do Tabletop Simulator again, because then I'll finally be able to handle it. You know, I won't blow out my MacBook again. I don't know if I... I probably said that on stream at some point, right? Back when I was doing a lot of Oath games. Like, I, I did a bunch of Oath games. I was doing one basically every week. Just getting great numbers, loving it, having a great time. I had some amazing games of Oath. Uh, and then... Yeah, I went, I was like, my MacBook doesn't want to close correctly, and it's the fans kick on so hard, so I was like, I'll dust it out. Popped it open, and this, as soon as I got the first screw off, it popped up. Just pop! And I was like, uh-oh. That's not good. That should not be pressurized. 
And yeah, when I got in there, my batteries were bloated. Need to be replaced. Thankfully, you know, replacing the batteries in a MacBook, you go to the Genius Bar, it's like a couple hundred bucks. You know, and it's doing it yourself is not really an option, unfortunately, because they have it like glued in there so that if you even try, you're probably just gonna rupture the battery. So I would not recommend it. it seems really dangerous. So I didn't, I got it there and I was like, I didn't have a computer for like a friggin' like almost like two weeks, which was ter like I had a computer, but it was like a decade old Windows laptop. It was so slow. I was like having a terrible time getting my work done. I got it done. I made it happen. It's just like it was so, so frustrating, so slow. I had to make all sorts of concessions. But if I, uh, yeah, if I get uh, the gaming PC, that won't be a problem again. And yeah, that's just why I haven't done any tabletop simulator streams. You know, that and like the controversy and whatever, but that's like, that's a whole other thing. You know, I'm going back and forth on how how much I forgive them and how poorly I think they handled it and all that, but yeah, I just, I need a better computer if I'm going to do those streams. But uh, hey, if y'all join the Discord, you know, I'd be happy to uh, do some games with y'all. I, I want to do Action Castle through the Discord. I'm still figuring out how... It basically, I want to do it asynchronous, and I think one of the easier ways would be with a bot, but I don't want to figure out how to make a bot. That sounds like too much work. I figure I'll probably just make like a chat and drop in the stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just do threads, basically. Oop. Ah, dip. Yeah, I don't know. I also, I'm like going back and forth on maybe I should do a podcast because I've done several podcasts in the past and they only ever last like a few episodes. And like, it's something I know how to do. I know audio production pretty dang well, so it wouldn't be like... You know, it'd be a, uh, some amount of work, but it wouldn't be that much. But then it, it's like anything I'd say on a podcast, it's pretty much the stream covers that. You know, we have this live, this live event that y'all can watch and they're all archived. So really not that different. I guess there is the stimulus of the game, which changes up the vibe. I just, I don't have like a specific, I don't have a specific interesting concept for a podcast. And if you want to do a general topic podcast, it's like doing a Q&A panel at a uh, convention, which is to say the most like bare bones content you possibly can. And uh, yeah, I don't know. If, if you're not famous, like if you're not an actual celebrity or otherwise have a fan base from something else, a podcast needs to have, like, a, you either need to have a great concept, you need to already be popular for other reasons, or you need to be a celebrity, which I guess also falls into the, the other thing of uh, popular for other reasons. But even then, I don't listen to the general podcast. Like, if I hear that it's like, oh, hey, this celebrity or whoever... Or this, like, internet personality is doing a podcast. I'm like, ooh. And then I hear what it is, and I'm like, okay. It's it's usually just like, I'll just talk and answer questions sometimes. You know, some of the more interesting ones. Uh, Sardonicast, which is just a movie discussion podcast, which is the next most bare bones thing. Like, it's slightly better than general discussion, but... We've all heard a million movie discussion podcasts. 
Um, and there is Q&A at the end. Uh, Babish of Binging with Babish did, uh, like, Bedtime with Babish, I think it was called. It's just, like, uh, it just reads, like, bedtime stories, basically. I don't know. I think his voice is fine. I never thought it was, like, that impressive, so I, I think that's a little... That's a little egotistical that he's like, mm, I'm just gonna read to you a lovely story. It's like, nah, not that interested. On the flip side, Nathan Barnett, you know, uh, you might know him as Dad now, which I hadn't heard about the Dad thing, but I'm a huge fan of him just from his physical comedy stuff. You know, in uh, his Keith Apicary character, his dance video, I, I think he's a delightful dude. I love him. Uh... I love when I see him pop up in, like, some television show, like, as just, like, a small little thing, usually, with a physical comedy bit to do. Um, but... Oops, sorry, I'm getting a little focused. Uh, but he did a podcast. I don't know if he still does it, but it was, uh... Horror stories from a grave digger. So it was something, something like scary stories from a grave digger because he used to dig graves as a job, and so it was just him like reading scary stories. It's fine. Like it, it didn't have that egotistical aspect because he didn't, ex you know, he. It's it's not a secret that he has like a little bit of a speech impediment. Um. But, like, his enthusiasm is great. I love his, you know, scary stories. And then we're going across. Uh, who else did interesting podcasts? I mean, the McElroys started as podcasters, more or less, so... I don't know if I'd necessarily count them. I know, it's... On one hand... I love podcasts, but on the other hand, people who are professionally podcasters, I find to be, I don't know, it, I feel like, like, it's great that they're really good at it, but I also like podcasts where that's not their job, so you get to hear, like, stories from their day-to-day -day life. Like, one of my favorite podcasts that I'm actually a few years behind on, I really need to, you know, get back into it, is uh, Geek Nights with Rim and Scott. And it's just two guys. Whoops. It's just two guys doing your general, your general stuff, you know, talking about anime and video games and stuff, board gaming. They did, at first, they did like four shows a week, which is buck wild. That's so much. Their idea being that it's like your first like hundred shows or whatever are probably going to suck. Well, maybe not hundred. That, But like, your first shows are gonna suck, so they were just like, let's just do as many shows as we can, as fast as we can, to get through it. And they're like legacy podcasters. They were there towards the beginning, to the point that Scott actually came up with the idea of a podcast before it was really a thing. Like, he he basically came up with what he called an audio blog and posted a few of them um, to his blog back in the day. And, yeah, then it became a podcast thing, and they've just been going since, like, the early days of podcasting. And, uh, they're both, like, they're not professional podcasters. They're both tech professionals in New York. Like, one's an IT professional, and one is a computer science professional. And, yeah, you get to hear from their day-to-day -day living in New York and going to work and stuff. There's some interesting stories that come out of that. I, I like it. So this one is the one that's always giving me trouble. Feels very RNG heavy because of, once again, all these tight indoor tracks give me so much trouble. Nope, nope, dip. Yeah, that's the real problem spot. I can be doing great. Then, uh, whoa, what was that? I don't 
don't know what happened there. Hold on a second. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with that particular spot in any meaningful way because every time it, it gives me the same trouble. Oh wow, I'm actually far enough back for Bullet Bills to mess with me. That's bonkers. This, this part of the track, I don't know what to really do, because it's just, it's a real tough spot. I think it might be too late, actually. I think I'm far enough behind that, uh... No, 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 nobody's actually crossed the finish line yet. Gonna be close though. Ugh. Ooh, also that creator clash I was talking about a few episodes ago. Uh, I think last week, I guess. Uh, it's just up on YouTube now. Idubs just put it up on YouTube. It's like it was his event, so. You can watch it. I paid 25 bucks for it, but it went to charity, so I'm not too bumped out about it. But uh, yeah, go check that out. It was a really fun time. Donate to the charities now. It's never a bad time to donate, baby. All right, I'm going to take a quick break, and then we are going to crack into Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, in just a minute. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. I'll be our back in just a minute. No, no, come on.
All right, I am back, and here's a little explanation of what makes Kirby 64 the best Kirby game. I mean, they're all pretty fun, but uh, yeah, this Kirby game, where are my options? Oh, I don't know about this. Hmm, neat. Uh, but yeah, J yeah, I just saw it. But uh, yeah, you get to combine abilities, which is awesome. I love all the combinations. We're gonna try and 100% this. Uh, I never did as a kid, but I was also, I played this when I was pretty young. But uh, it shouldn't take more than, you know, a couple streams. We'll see. Hoping to have it done before the game Card Shark comes out, because I'm gonna stream the ever let it being crap out of that one. That one looks so good. The demo was so fun. Go check it out. Card Shark, Nintendo Switch. All right, let's go. Kirby time. Why am I not? Oh, right. Wah. Right, so the thing about this game was it was one of few notable... Wow. It was one of few notable, um... Games... Ah, damn. It was one of few notable games on the N64 that used the D-pad, primarily. Check it out. <laughs> I am destroyer of worlds. Yeah, because I combined Cutter and Fire, I got a Flaming Sword now that you can, you know, swing around, or you can throw it. And it's just, it's so OP, but it's so fun. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, we gotta get all of these crystal shards 100% this and get to the secret boss? Question mark? Secret ending for sure, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a boss. There probably is. Get him. Easy peasy. Call this a boss? I don't think so. I don't think so. This would be much more comfortable on the N64 controller, but I still can't get one, man. They've been sold out. Like, constantly. You want to get these stars, because the stars give you... Uh, one ups if you get enough of them. Oh, it's Poppy Brothers Jr. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this and actually aim for... Fire bomb. Oops. Uh. Although cutter bomb was always my favorite. So boss. You know what? Let's yeah. Let's just. I keep defaulting. I keep defaulting to the uh, analog stick because I'm using a modern controller. But that's not how this game is played. That's fine. All right, so yeah, we're gonna bust this out. I gotta time it right. There we go. Firebomb, baby. What'd that one do? Oh yeah, it's fireworks! And you can just kind of bounce around. You can like combo it if you time it out right. Yeah, this one's fun. Hello, Waddle D. Waddle ya do. Oh no, the darkness. The darkness. Wow. Who gave him this crystal shard? He just wanted pretty shiny. Wow. Waddle Dee become Waddle Doo. This is a stupid easy boss fight. I mean, it's already 
not an incredibly hard game. Some of the bosses are pretty sick, but... Yeah, and as is always the case with Kirby, they always give you some option to hit them without a power. Just in case. But yeah, we're just going to run straight through. And then I will swing back. I'm pretty sure you can swing back and choose past levels. Um, oh, this. This is uh, was so difficult. Okay. You got to... And then you... Yeah! You got to choose his ankle, and then you choose how far he goes. Yeah, look at that! It's got little crayon drawings of how many of the crystals you... Ah, it's so cute. It's so cute. All right. So, yeah, I can always swing back to the levels where I missed some shards. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. Ooh, watch out. There's a mole guy. Oh, wait. Oh, I want Cutter Bomb. Cutter Bomb is really good. Hold on. Cutter Bomb is... Ooh, oh, almost. Ah, no, I killed him. Well, okay, we go off screen and he will respawn. We just got him and cutter bomb. This one is sick. Check it out. Shuriken that explode. It's exploding shuriken. And look, they move super fast too. And I mean, I get it. All they're really doing is cutting out all the frames. It's a clever trick, right? It just shows them throw. It automatically appears in whatever he threw it at but it's like it automatically sticks in and just blows him up it's so so sick oh watch out these little guys floating ah ah this game's so nice i mean it's kirby man kirby is always just a delight just a delight nope nope no sorry i my water ball is in the way, but if I put it any further away, I won't be able to reach it, or I'll be dehydrated. Yeah, here, bud. I should play more of the Kirby games on here. I always have a great time with them. They make me feel good. You know, I played uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh, I played for the GBA, but that's part of the um, Superstar. It's also Superstar Ultra, which I never played. But, you know, whatever. Is the legendary Staffy one of the few detriments to the shuriken? Can't uh, can't do it up. It's a it's a left and right situation. So there are times where a different power would be more useful. Like in the last level when you needed bomb to blow up the the chunk, to get that uh, get that crystal shard. Also, I could see. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta be careful, you run out of gas. Don't wanna float yourself into oblivion. Hey, Wild D, what's up? See, now this is a fun little. Oh, yeah, he's helping me out. Because we're buds, I saved him. And now he's giving me a helpful hand. I can pick up these stars. You know, it's a little easier because you don't like fall back very much. All right, and then we do this to get the shard. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh no, no! Oh. Dip. <laughs> ah, I lost my shuriken. Dip dang Daru. Do I have to get that shard again? Oh, I can't tell from here. Well, we'll know later. I keep instinctively just touching the right control stick to try and change the camera. You can't change the camera. It's all it's all direct cam, and you know what? I respect that. Like modern games, they don't give you they give you the ability to look anywhere, and that's fine, but it's like sometimes the simplicity of just having a straightforward view, you know, that's just decided for you. That's nice. I like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Oh, uh, no, there's a one-up and a max mushroom. Ah, max tomato. What am I saying, max mushroom? It's the muzz. Got the, the muzz on the brain. Wow. And then we're going to jibow. And maybe one more jibow. Nice. That's two of three. So there's one more shard. Ah, I think you get it for be in this boss fight. Look at this little friend doing some paintings. You fool, you've got too many colors on your brush. Just kidding, that's not how art works. Mm. You're gonna put, wow! We're gonna put it into the painting. Show me the evil face. Show me the angry evil face. Bleh. Blair, gonna get you. And yeah, you don't have to hurt the painter, you just have to deal with these drawings. And it's all good. That's a little creepy. Oh jeez. Oh no! What are you doing? Censored. Roast drawing. Censored. Alright, and that was just level one. Again, more. Look at this bubble bobble. Dragon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me dice. Oh, doesn't get, it's just wilder. Doesn't give me any powers. I gotta get you. And gotta get you. Only three times. Whoa! Control's pretty good. I'm, I don't like this D-pad a great deal. On the, uh, what is it? The PDP. S uh, a switch controller. It's fine, I guess. It's, I don't know. I've definitely used better D-pads. It's, uh, better than the... And the just buttons on the switch for sure. I really wish you could re remap your controls in the Switch Online for N64, because for a lot of the games, it works pretty well. In fact, you know, similar whoop, similar to how they say that the N64 controller was specifically designed for Mario 64. Feels like the way they mapped the buttons was specifically meant for Mario 64 as well. I don't know if anybody else gets that vibe. Good work, my little painter friend. Alright, what are we going for? Um, Let's go for the mystery. Whoa! What do we get? Oh. Oh, do I need to get that on every level? Is that part of 100%? Ooh, uh-oh. I mean, I'll do it if I need to. That guy's bomb, right? Yep, bomb. Look at this. Depending on how long you hold it, you throw at different arcs. Yeah, I hear a little gray magoo. Oh, actually, what's double bomb? I don't know. Ah, I missed. Ah, now he's gone. Dip dang daru. Double fire, I'm pretty sure, is just big fire. Oh, yeah, it's the Phoenix. Heck yeah. Oh, it like puts its wings out like that. Oh, so cool. So cool. Kirby's awesome. That is sword guy. Any secrets up here? Nope. That's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I messed this up. Please, please let me get back. I messed up. Ah! I want to 
get that star. Oh boy, that was a tight spot. I put myself in. Yeah, and then there's situations like this where you need a power to break through underneath. If you got no power, ain't nothing you can do with it. You know, Kirby can do a little, a little like, a little like sweep the leg move sometimes, but you can't depend on that every time. There's my tomato. My delicious tomato. Full of vitamin C and stuff. All right, now we can do, this is uh, one I really like. So it's a boomerang, right? And it's kind of creepy how Kirby's flesh disappears with it. And then we got the big boomerang. That's scary, honestly. Gotta be a little careful, because if you uh, you do it wrong, you know, you can't do the floaties while you're like that, so. Ooh, okay, perfect. And yeah, I needed that to get through here, so that works out. It's a good thing I, I changed it. Hello, and yeah, now that he's a friend, he helps out. Gives you one-ups, whatever you like. One right up here being sneaky. Then, uh, no. What was the one? It was one I really liked as a kid. How do I get that one? Uh, I think it's Spike Spike? So do these guys give me spikes? No, those are Cutter. Cutter is fine. It's not what I'm, I'm looking for. I tried to 100% this as a kid. There's just like some parts where I just kept going over and over again. I just could not find how to get through a certain level. You can climb up the rope or you can just zip zip zow. Ooh, we got electric. Ooh, we got electric. Come on, buddy. Never noticed before this chain is just a flat sprite. Well, you know what? It's fine, we'll just, uh... Whoop, come back. We'll just get the flame sword again. It's all good. Yeah, there's so many different combos. Um... You just gotta keep... Keep trying it all out. Sup, D-D-D! He's the king! Nah, not that one's mine. Give it back to me. Oh, not this guy again. This fuzzy fella. Oh, you seeing this? Sure am, Kirby. It's a travesty. We'll just get him. Although, I don't want to get him entirely. Whoops. Thing you gotta remember about DDD, he is Kirby's equal. Yeah, you get him a couple times. Whoops. Ah, no! Oh, I messed up. And then. Comes at you with his gut. gut eye. Because he's all evil. Yeah, this whole first, like, world is all mini bosses. It's an interesting concept, but it's like, eh, eh, no, no, don't munch me. No. All right, I only got to hit him another time. Yeah, I'm already thinking about some of the bosses I'm going to run into. I'm so stoked. Is that it? Or does he have another? No, that's it. Okay, cool. I got it. All right, let's keep moving. You want to help out, DDD? No. Well, maybe. No. No. Yeah, he's helping out. He's a friendly guy. Whoops. Now, ah, well, I got the green stars. It's all good. Yeah, now he's munching. 
and then we got, yeah, all those, and then we got Woody Woods, baby. You know it's gotta be, it's gotta be Woody Woods at the beginning every time. It's always Woody Woods in the first boss of any Kirby. Look at these cute little guys. I don't even want to hurt them. I gotta do it, because Woody Woods, you know, he doesn't want to put himself in danger. So he's just like, yeah, destroy my children. Okay, bud. If you insist. Gotta catch up to this little guy. I think I'll do it. Yeah. Now he's George. Oh, you killed my kids. You murdered my children. And we just wait. Yeah. Just gotta hit him with the apples. Classic. Classic Woody Woods situation. Is he called Woody Woods? I'm actually starting to doubt myself now. <laughs> okay, it looks like if you get multiple, it'll just keep going. So let me actually try and get like a few of them. Ah. I was too slow and I only got one anyways. Ain't that always the way. There we go, we got a couple. Ah, no, I spit it out too early. What the heck? Ah, dip. Come on, come on, give it to me. Kirby is a delightful friend. Even in adversity, he's just being pink and... That sound he make? You know the one. Let's chunk. This chunky fella. There we go. Take that. Bam. It's mine. Nice. World 1 complete already. Like I said, super short game. So we, yeah, I think there's only like six worlds? Maybe like eight, but they're not very long. Then yeah, we got this brew, brew. Look at the production. And this is the desert level. You, yeah, you should trust Kirby with your life. He will protect. And he may attack, but he shan't attack you. Oh. Here's a good one. We got... Bam! Bow and arrow. Bow and arrow. And yeah, similar to the bombs, it's... The longer you hold it, the further back you'll go. So you can kind of aim it. Also, your health... Uh, from... Round to round, I forgot about this, but your health from level to level does not replenish. just kind of stays wherever you left it. Ooh. I got all the stars and that's a one up. Did you see that? It was flashing down there. DDD is very good. Yo, we should watch the Kirby anime. I just, I remember watching random episodes on like Foxbox, but that was a pretty good show. I, I remember it being pretty good anyways. You know, a lot of early CG and stuff. All the stuff on the Fox Box, you know, they had Mucha Lucha, they had that edgy TMNT, they had, a uh, Crank Twins. Uh, anybody remember the Crank Twins? It was a weird show. Do it. No. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. All right, I gotta keep an eye out. Thankfully, it is a side-scroller, so... You don't have to worry as much about finding all the stuff, but you do gotta get it all if you want that 100%. Can I get up here? Yeah, there's a little sum. Ah, there we go. See, I knew it. I knew they were gonna hide something up here. 
hundred episodes of that show, really? Wow. Good for Kirby. I hope he got right back at you. Yeah, I, I saw a few episodes as a kid, but I never got that big. The, Cubics, Cubics was another show on there. You guys remember that? Nah, I, just, I don't know. I saw like yeah, an episode. It was weird. Oh geez. See mini bosses, mini bosses out the wazoo in this game. They're not very hard, but they're there. So I appreciate the effort. Oh, I know this one. Here it goes. Look, see that? See the sand? The sand's getting thicker. Oh, it's filling in. Oh, the floor is coming up. You gotta get out of here. So you just gotta dodge around. It's actually not very hard. But we gotta get out of here. Quick. Ah. Ah. This is not a good power to have in this part of the game. Alright, keep it going. It's just like stairs. Let me out! Let me out! There's no way out! How do I get out? Help! Help! Uh, ah, uh, Swaldy! What a good friend. He's safe for me. Oh, yeah, that was filled right up. Jeez. Dangerous. I oh, wait a minute. So this uh, so this breaks. This would break from yellow and black. So like bomb. You like bomb and electric? I think. Okay, I never got that as a kid. So that's one of the ones I'm gonna have to come back for. Got him. Nice. The thing with these guys, right? They're just happy little guys. But hold on. Hold on, let me let me show y'all. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Ah, they're coming for me. Yeah, if you try and like suck them up, they do that too. The fish. Didn't even give you power. He's literally just hanging out. See, they turn all evil if you try and suck them too. Or if you just wait a while. Electric. Oh, maybe I can get it this way. Because I think it was electric bomb. So if they give me those, watch out for these guys too. They're coming for you. Do not think this guy is helpful to me. He's just throwing buns. Well, well hopefully he wasn't useful. Eh. You can take a lot of damage. Oh, I guess that's it. Ooh. Ooh. Got it. Yeah, I'm guessing I just gotta get all of those too. Okay, let's... Hmm, yeah, let's swing back to this one real quick. I got electric, if I can get bomb. I think I'll be able to, uh that bit at the end there. Ah! Yeah, I never realized as a kid that the colors mattered. So any area that has like different colors, those are different combinations you gotta do to uh, get the thing. Or maybe it's rock? Let's uh... Let's try it. Hey, yeah, that's that looks right. What's that? Whoa! Oh, I forgot about this. That's right. Yeah, it's just like a electric rock that just bounces all over the place, and it's a homing. God, these powers are so ridiculous. I don't know who came up with them, but they're geniuses. Who came up with this? Just an electric boulder slapping around. So absurd, I love it. Wop. 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 Can I get this guy? Wop. No. 
I want to be careful. I gotta get to the end. Ooh, it, ooh, it. Uh oh. Ooh, half health. Although I think there's an ice cream over here. Yeah, ice cream. Ice cream. Right, and then we gotta go through the. Gotta go through the mini boss again. Oh, he should be crazy easy with this power. Ow. Ow. Oh, hey, blue star. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna be racking up the one ups. All right, and this is an auto, auto scroller section, so I just gotta kind of deal. Yep, yep, yep. Just gotta get through it as fast as it'll let me. Burp. Do, you th do you think Quiznos is still around? It was never really that popular. The sandwiches are pretty good, though. They were like real toasty and crispy. I liked them. I don't know. I haven't thought about Quiznos in a minute. Yeah. All right, let's see if this was correct. Yeah! Got it. And then, yeah, we're gonna... Ah, uh, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. There we go, I can get you from this side. Yeah. Ah, please no. Whoa. Give me a star. Whoa. Oh, they don't activate until you get close enough. Got it. Get out of here, spike ball. All right. Let's see if I can get this aimed correct. Yes. Oh, maybe those are just like a gallery thing. Okay, so I got that level done. Nice, nice, nice. Gotta go back to see if there's a secret. Yeah. And then, let's, uh, let's bail on this one. It's fun, but I wanna try out different stuff. Oh, these guys are spike, okay. So spike works like this. You're a spike ball, right? Check this out. Double spike. Oh, this is gonna be hard to aim. Gotta time it. Correct. Yes, there we go. Check it out. Double spike. Ba bam! Look at all this nonsense. Crazy Swiss Army knife stuff. Let's go through what it is. It's it's a corkscrew, a pencil. A syringe, a cactus, a cactus in a pot, a, a compass for drawing circles. It looks like a, a sword, but like a cocktail sword. <laughs> a bee, and a fork. It's just so creative. I love this stuff, man. Kirby is king of creativity, as far as game franchises go. Do, do, do. The one thing is you can't really roll into it. Ooh, let's see if I can actually this. Oh, that's also Spike. Never mind. Watch out. It's Warhog. Coming to get you. Wow. Check it out. Spike plus this equals a lightning rod. That is not what I thought it was. There's another one that uses lightning that we will get into later. Yeah, this one is actually not super useful. It's cute. Not very useful. Ah! Rocks! So rock. Classic Kirby rock thing. You turn into a ball. Then, two of them. I'm big Kirby. 
I'm big rock man. I am invincible. That one's okay. It's the mi it's usually just like bigger version of the small one. Um so you wanna the combos are where it's really at. So let's see what we can get. That was okay. How do I Hmm, how do I get in there? We got Spike. I am a fan of the Spike one. In most 2D Kirby's, you know, if I have the choice, I'll usually end up going for Spike. It's just, it's satisfying, I don't know. And I saw that shard down there. How do I get into that? Well, let me grab some sandwich from home. Oh, it falls, okay. I need to do that. Of the shard. Hey, what was that? He just fell down on me. And there it is. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I wonder what this little fairy girl's name is. I actually never looked it up as a kid. Probably in the manual, I would assume. Ah, oh, little ghost. Ah, oh, dropping fire. Dropping hot fire. And we're just gonna... Ooh, uh-oh. That might have been a bit... Ooh, a bit risky. Oh, hey, one up. Just gonna grab that. Oh, hey, no thank you. I also like how if he gets hit... Kirby only has one hit animation, so if he gets hit, the lighting effects will turn off, and he'll just turn back into standard lighting Kirby. So in a really gloomy spot like this, it feels very silly just to uh, see him turn back into just, oh, okay, it's, it's just Kirby. We got this, but then we got that. How would I want to not swim? Look at Kirby go. Such a talented guy. He's such a talented fella. Then we gotta ooh, gotta be careful. They'll smash ya. Oh. Cutter spike. What does cutter spike do? Oh yeah, it's the jaws. Uh oh, uh oh. Whew. It's a bit close for comfort. And yeah, you can hold it for as long as you want. Look at that cute little face. Settle in those deadly jaws. How? How? Whoa! I don't know if that picked up on Mike. What was that? Is that just thunder? The thunder here can be pretty loud, but that's that's still going. Jeez. What was that? My goodness. All right, let's uh, let's uh, keep moving here. Yeah, this is okay. Not a lot of, you know, movement here. Yeah. Okay. It did get picked up. Yeah, I've had multiple times where, like, I'll be in a live recording session on Zoom or something, and the lightning will just happen. And they'll be like, whoa, is everything okay over there? I'm like, yeah. The lightning here is just, or the thunder is just, uh, absurd. Absurdly loud. I don't know why. I don't know why it's so much louder than it is in uh, other places I've lived, but uh, sure do be. Oh, yeah, here we go. These are like the best parts. You DDD, and you got a hammer. And you just run around. Ding, DDDing. Wherever you can. Ow. Of course, it's the same health bar, so you gotta be careful still. 
But uh, yeah, it's a fun little little excursion. I keep thinking of the Star Bomb song for this. It is not wholesome. Their Kirby song is very unwholesome, in fact. So uh, I'm trying to refrain from singing it, but it's in there. I'm hearing it. Oh, there's a. There's another shard. I thought I got all the shards on this level. Okay. Ooh. Let's go get it. And there's some cake. Whoa. Watch out for those little dragons. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. oh. Nah, dip. Yeah, I think DDD can do a little boar. Nope, he cannot. He cannot do a little boar. Wow. He doesn't have full damage, though, so that's good. I see that ice cream, but no. Uh, not yet. Not this time. We'll eat this sandwich, though. Much healthier for you. Good sandwich. It's got some lettuce, some protein, some carbs. Good stuff. Alright, let's get... Oops. I always forget, because I'm, like, his arms are th the highest up, so why is it not... Why is that not the thing? Oh, well. <laughs> Keep using the analog stick. I keep forgetting that it's a D-pad only game. Oh, cake. Do not need it right now, but that's that does look delicious. We'll come back around for that. I like how he's just like rubbing his head like to make the static. Although there's another one where he will literally take out a piece of paper to make some static. And it's adorable. Of course it's adorable. It's Kirby! There we go. I gotta remember, it will follow the curves. Yeah, that one. Wow! He uses the static to light himself on fire. He goes, zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
is fine. Why is the fish up there? Help him! Someone help! He's just a little guy. Anything over here? Nope. We're going in. Guz goosh. Kirby falls very slow. He is not very dense. He is in fact quite. Uh, what's the opposite of dense? Gotta be a word for that, right? Indents. Yeah, I don't know. Any secrets? Nope. Alright, ten lives. Alright, and then... Gotta check for secrets. Then we're just going down. Going down the tubes. Watch out. Watch out. Whoa. Watch out. Uh, uh, careful. Careful. Uh, careful. Ah. Careful. Don't want to get hit. Don't want to get hit. No, 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 no. Are these two different directions? Oh, which one do I pick? Let's go down this way first. Nope, that's death. Oops. I don't know, why would that be death? That does this fine. Whoa. See, uh, the lighting effects get turned off and he just turns pink. Like classic standard Kirby pink. Do you guys know Kirby was originally supposed to be yellow? That's why uh, anytime the, there's an alternative Kirby in like Smash or whatever, he's uh, usually yellow first. It's an interesting little thing. I mean, in his original game, he was gray because it was a... Uh... Or no, not his original game. What was it? I don't remember when. It was it NES? It was a Game Boy? Whoa! First game I played of him was on Game Boy. Original Game Boy, no color. Not yet. They had to earn the right to have color. Ah! It's big and spiky. Is there a, yeah, there's a shard. Whoop. Gotta get it, gotta get it. Go, 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 Kirby, go! Get out of there! Ah! Okay. All right, uh, I really need health, so actually I'm gonna go for the Maxim Tomato. Ah, I straight up dipped it. Total malarkey. Yeah, I couldn't get that first one because I didn't have any rock. Get some rock in this level. So let's, uh, let's do that real quick. I'm on a mission. I can't. I can't pay attention to you, spiky boys. Yeah, here we go. Oof. Arf. Oof. Nice. Oh, and I gotta finish the level to hang on to it. I guess. We can manage that. It's the first level in the world. That's another thing, is if you're moving, you'll be a rolling rock. So you can still get a little momentum. Uh, saved up. For your slow rock man. Also, rock Kirby. Can't jump. Can't jump his ball. Not this time. SMH. Oh well. Yeah, short enough level that 
I don't mind backtracking so that we can get that that there thing. You know, some of them will be a little more complicated later on, I'm sure, but these first couple worlds, pretty straightforward. Just gotta roll right into them. There we go. Give me that. Oh yeah. That's good stuff. And then we got the auto scroller. Yeah, it's Kirby rolls into him, then he walks in vulnerably, and then when he's done being rock, he bursts. So the bursts will hurt him. I remember thinking I was so cool as a kid for being able to get through this part without a problem. I'd like be as quick as I could to the top, like, oh geez, it's so hard. Super easy. However, let me out. Thanks, Waddle D. Hi, Waddle. Thank ye. Uh, let's yeah, let's just keep on, keep it on. This music is great too. And we're gonna roll! Ah, uh, the little dips. Little terraces. I don't even care. What do you think? You're gonna stop me? Being a cactus? Being a cactus with a big old buddy mouth? I don't care. Alright, so this time we'll go for the. Whoop! Yeah! Uh, uh, there it is. Hi. Oh, wait, there was cake over here. I remember. I remember commenting on it. Let me get that cake. Let me get that cake. Nice. All right. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Hold on, I got a thing to do. Don't, don't at me. Not at me. Here we go. Yeah, okay. As a kid, I was so baffled of how you were supposed to get through spots like that. I was like, what do you do? And it's like, it's literally a color thing. I just, I guess I just never noticed as a kid. Ah, dip. Destroyed my stuff. All right, we're just gonna, just gonna zip. Oh, give me that meat, give me that meat. Ah, no! How would you do such a thing to me? We're gonna go for the far one again. It's a little less treacherous. Yes, I know, I know. Don't beep at me, give me some snacks. star very useful very useful indeed oh. oh yeah what is ice and fire oh oh I'm like a flaming ice cube sure sure I guess that makes sense I mean what else would I be Seems a lot strange, but I'll take it. I need that ice cream. 
There it is. Yeah, I don't... This ability kind of stinks, actually. Compared to just plain fire, especially right here, where it'd be nice to just zip across with the regular fireball. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh oh. Very low on health. Please give me snack. You'd be so kind. You gotta play it real careful. Hey, 11. Wonder if I can get up to 99 <laughs> extra lives by the end of this. Cause it ain't too challenging. At least not yet. Some of the later levels certainly are. Ooh, that would have been the end of me as Kirby. That was close. Yeah, I gotta finish out the level. Now with a single health. out for the falling bones. Where the fa oh, ah, there's one. Okay, watch out. There's another. Ooh. Right up top. Ooh. This is a big one. This is a big one. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay. Oh boy. That was very nerve-wracking. Give me that tomato. Squish down. Tomato. Delicious. All right. Got a good 100% so far. All right. I am going to take a quick break to eat my dinner, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. I'll be our back with more Kirby 64 in just a minute. Okay. Okay.
All right, let's keep going. Uh, yeah, we start to have five levels in each world now. Oh, look at that little witch girl. That's cute. Wonder what her ability is. This is probably witchery. Can I, can I get her? Not. Yes, we are going out to that obelisk that just rose up in the background. Weird choice, but it is space. That's what I'm saying, man. Super creative. Kirby never rests on its laurels and is just like, we'll just make another game where you, you suck them up and you spit them out. No, we, we get new stuff every time. Hold on a minute. I think there's a little something secret over this way if you, yeah, if you skip by. Oh, it's just a single star. That's all right. I wish there was like a five, you know? Like it'd at least be a blue star or something. Or like a green. But like the plain yellow stars are a little <laughs> underwhelming. Whoa. Uh oh. Ah! The defenses. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Hmm. I got a Mr. Pib. I haven't had one in a while. It's pretty good. I always thought it was like a cola, but it's, stri it's straight up just cherry. It is the most medicinal of any of the any of the modern sodas. I guess Tab. Tab is more medicinal, but like, who drinks Tab? I don't know. I, I got a case of it one time just out of curiosity, like, you know, never had Tab. And the, they still sell it, I guess, but uh, yeah, it was uh, a waste, because I didn't drink more than one of those. It was disgusting. I don't know, I'm sure there's someone out there who's like, oh, it's delicious. And I like Moxie, which is not that different. Hello? What are you doing in here? Hmm. Oh, right, I remember this. It's like a code and it turns on the lights in the last room. Or no, they paint the thing? I don't know. Hold on a sec, is there like a thing up top? Nope. I don't know. Maybe that's something for later. We're obeliskin' right now, buddy. Ooh, Maxim Tomato. Do, 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 do. And up. Uh, nice. The other benefit of doing this now is that if I'm real stumped on where one of the last shards is, I can look it up. It's like, yeah, back as a kid, I didn't really have that. I think I might have had that option, actually. But I just didn't know how, so, you know. Didn't really have it, did I? Wait, ah, uh, no! I panicked. I panicked. Oh, they're electric. Okay. Double electric gives you a brig. I love Kirby's like, whoa, 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 whoa. He does for that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I don't even really need the platform that much. I can just do this. Yeah, I freaked out because I was like, oh my god, there's probably a secret over here. And there isn't even. I just. Oh, well. Yep. 
mini bosses are pretty easy to deal with if you've got any kind of power. Hmm. How does it deal with this area? Can I touch this? Oh, oh, it's a climby section. That's nice. Whoop. Gotta watch out for those guys, though. Be so squishy, so squishy and soft. Uh, let's go there. I think uh, right about here. Yeah. Nope, undershot it. Oh well. Ooh, and I did miss one. It's probably uh, that like pattern. You know what? I think if I have electricity. Be able to do so what is the deal with her back there, though? Can I, like, give her something? Hmm. Don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back to the painter. And I think now that I have electric, I can give him light and he can paint out the code. That's my guess. Tell me in chat what you think will happen. Just kidding, I won't see it in time. It'll be too late. Mm. These fries are really cold. They're checkers fries, at least. Which means that they can survive being cold for a lot longer than, like, McDonald's. Like, the second McDonald's is not piping hot, those fries are toxic waste. Checker's got some flavor and some texture to him. Actually, use that sandwich. Hmm. A lot of waiting in this puzzle. Not a fan of waiting. Yeah, see, there's those guys right there. So I think. Will that help it for you, bud? Is that what you need? Look at him tip tapping. Tippity tappity, tippity tappity, tippity tappity. Huh. Maybe if I. Do it in here. Huh. Thought that would be the solution. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure there is an ability that turns you into a light bulb. So it's probably that. That's fine. I'll come back to it later. Now it's on to the boss. Obviously, you get Woody Woods first. Then you get creative bosses. Here we go. We got red polygonal device. Oh, it's going the other way. But then, here comes green. Here comes green, and they're spinning. They're slicing. Now watch out. And wouldn't you know it, soon enough you'll have... And it wants to show up. <clears throat> soon enough, yep, there's blue. Now they're gonna dip up and down and up and down. Whoa. Whoa, careful. Careful. Whoa-oh. Whoa. Wow. All right, and now we're at the top. Now we're gonna get a chance to actually attack. So for this, 
I believe, yeah, you do actually have to get rid of your ability. And you gotta hit them with their own color. Whoa. Yeah. Oof, I'm not doing great. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, got him for one. Got him for one. The bosses get distinctly more difficult after that first one. out. Ah! No! No! Whoa. Alright. And then they do the up and down. See, this part I found much trickier as a kid. It is still pretty tricky when you finally get a chance to attack them, but, uh, whoa. Yeah, the way they move is a little tricky to, uh, tricky to track. Come on up then. Got the red. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Whoa. And you, yeah, you just gotta kind of hope that they have a uh, pattern that's good for you. They don't really have that much health, so it really doesn't take too long. And once you've hit each one twice, they do like disappear. So yeah, like that. Oh, what? Just the thing coming up got me. That's. Donculus. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, mutual destruction. Oh, my fry. Kirby can just sit through this one. No, he can't. Oh, actually, I guess he could have. Yeah, this part. Gotta be, ooh, you gotta watch it. Went for the analog stick every time. See, that wasn't a problem because on the N64, you couldn't reach the analog stick from the D-pad. And vice versa. It was a, just a totally different control scheme. Wow. Up and down and down and up and up around and jumping rope. Whoa. That's all it is. It's just a bit of jump rope. You never jumped a rope? Oh, crikey. I bet you'd enjoy it. It's great fun. Look, if you look real close, they have muted versions. Like, it's a muted version of the color that's gonna pop up. See, like, that's a very muted green. That's a very muted red. Very good. I gotta be careful about that. Keep forgetting. No! Ah! All right, and then yeah, I knocked out one of my chances. That's not great. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. 
it's a bit tricky. And that beginning part makes it a little frustrating because, like, you gotta spend so much time just setting up. Whoa. It's not worth it trying to time this out, but... Oh, there we go. Got him. Get over here. Oh, yeah, this is the easiest one to dodge. Got him. Ah, oh, very close again, but I did it. See, yeah, a lot of early 3D games, this is what you got for a boss. It was just like, you know, it's a polygonal shape. We can do polygons now, so why not do polygons? Somebody help him. No, he's doing the thing. He's so hungry. It's okay. They have a snack. Paint you up an apple. Little baby fairy creature. I'm gonna snap away from here. Ooh, the water planet. I don't mind as much. 3D water freaks me out, but side-scrolling water, I can contend with that. Aqua star. Hi. I'm so low on health. I think you do the picnic jump thing. Huh. Whoop. Well. That didn't go great. Bump, ba bump, and ba bump. I uh, got it. Whoop. Watch out. Fish, fish, fish. They can still hurt you. Yeah. Check it out. Fire and rock. The volcano, and you can direct it. Yes, the real first-person shooter. Whoa. Nice. Whoa. There we go. Just gonna get some good stuffs down here. Some stars. I'd eat that sandwich while I'm full. Full on sandwich. Full on sandwich. I ain't talking half a sandwich. I ain't talking part of a sandwich. I'm talking full on sandwich. Yeah, I'm having a great time. I'll say that, but uh, I might cut this stream kinda short. I'll still go to the half hour mark here. Oh, oh wow, I don't remember these guys. This is, yeah, I don't remember these guys at all. These are fun. Yeah, my voice is just pretty tired. So, you know, I'll take tomorrow to rest and everything, but can't, can't risk the voice. That's my money maker, baby. That's where my job's from. Where my job's from? That, that's my job. I use my voice to work. So I need to be able to rest. Mind voice. But uh, yeah, I will continue this Fridays and Saturdays for the time being. And uh, we'll still have Miscellaneous Monday. You probably got a little glimpse of some of the cooler stuff that I got planned. Because it was on sale. Wow. It fell. It's okay, though. I don't like that. Ah, it's a frog. It's just a frog, though. That's not too bad. Groom. Groom. Uh. 
a gogosh. Oh, uh, oh, he's out of range. It's all good. I don't need to take him out. <coughs> this makes me feel good. Whoa, who's this little caveman? Get him. Oh, oh, the wire's pushing down. The wire's pushing down on me. Pressure. Pushing down on me. Pushing down on you. I do it do. I don't know what, I don't know what he says there. Come on, give me the meat. I want that, I want that beef. I want that beef, let me get that beef. Ooh -wee. Oh man. Yeah, this, uh, this volcano's cute. Not super useful. I don't want the fire sword again. I've already had that like a million times. Whoa, ah! There's a sea angel. I didn't realize those were in this. Man. The more you know. Like about sea angels. In uh Kirby 64. Whoa. Why are those guys down there so mean? This guy up here is such a friendly fella. So angry. What you got? Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, managing health seems to be the biggest challenge in this game. Cause like, you can go quite a while without having to worry about uh, you know, what abilities you got or whatever. No, dude. Stop. That's what I want. There it is. The lightsaber. The dual lightsaber. Oh, it feels good. It feels real good. Ah. Ah. Oh, I died, though. Well. Dip. Ah. Yeah. Huh? My food. This is why you shouldn't eat in game at the same time. It's important to keep yourself full of food, though. Don't starve yourself for the game, guys. There's no good. That's what Sonic says. Hmm. Electric spot no, electric spikes sucked. It pretty much only hits straight above you. Dip and dang and drew. Hold on. I can't get the lightsaber. It's fine. I don't even need it. Ooh, bombing up blue. What's blue? Blue is ice, I think? Hmm. Bomb and blue. Was there even bomb in this level? I don't think so. This might be the point where they expect you to bring it in from the other levels consistently. Which will be tricky. All right, give me that tomato. Get right in the half. Oh no, I missed all of it. All right. Ooh, this is one of my favorite levels, too. Oh. The leaves get a little close. Give me the beef. Thank you. Uh, ooh, I think Electric Bomb is a pretty good one. 
Yeah, that's a light bulb. And it explodes. So violent. You made a cake. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's bomb ice I need for the last level. I don't remember what what that makes, but uh, we'll find out. That was the big thing, is like, uh, in Superstar, they gave you a ton of different abilities, but in, uh, in this one, the move was, there's only like a handful of abilities, really. But they combine in such interesting ways. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, see, that was that was the ice. That was the ice I needed. That's fine. I'm not. I gotta go back and uh, redo this stuff, anyways. What? Oh, and that's fire rock. I can already tell. Rude. Doesn't give me the shard, but okay. Yeah. Oh, not quite. Yeah, here it is. This is why I love this level. A little raft ride with Waddle Dee. Ooh, yeah. Look at it wiggle their little arms. Wow. Oh, jeez. Ah. And he goes, whoa. He's like, oh no, we're gonna crash. Yeah, this is great. Whoa! And you just kind of flip over. Ooh. All right, I got at least one shard. Whoa! So cute, so cute. Uh oh, I missed. I missed. Whoops! You take damage, but you just still keep going. A little flip. Wow. Wow. Oh no, no! Ah. Off into the abyss. Yeah, and then we got this little bit. This is just like the star in Mario, you know, and vulnerability, baby. Enjoy while you can. There's a shard. Okay, yeah, I'm way more, now that I understand that you just have to get certain combinations to get get all the shards, this seems way more doable than, uh, than it did when I was a kid. I was like, I don't get it, how do you get through? Yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. Whoa. Whoa. Alrighty. This is a bit, a bit awkward, but I'm making it work. Yep. A uh, yep. Throw up. Nope. And then uh, da, 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 this way. Go. Go. Oh. Dip. Dip. Ow. Oh, I'm trapped. Let me out. Okay. Kirby's got to kind of jump to get that speed going. There we go. Uh, yeah. There. No, not enough. Man. Yeah, I got too confident in the first couple that I did. 
It's hard. You dancing? Not anymore. Not on my watch. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Oh, these guys again. Oh, look at that. So we made a little elephant. That's cute. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that one handed. Ah, yeah, this is just such a delightful game. I'm very happy to be able to play it again. Like, obviously, I could emulators and stuff, but, like, emulating N64, that's always been the line for me. I know it's not that hard, but there are things about the N64 that never emulate quite correct. Well, how'd that get me? I thought it was, I was still bulb. So just getting a clean... Official emulation, I'm good with that. Yep, 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 yo. All right, let's see if the dancing ones. Nope, okay. Yeah. Not a lot of water enemies give you abilities in these games. Hmm. Never thought about that. They have ice, but they don't have water. All right. gonna have spaghetti tonight we ended up having checkers that's fine that just means we get to have spaghetti tomorrow but man it's not the same thing you know? it's just not filling in the same way wow oh what's all this oh that's a whole other area oh i need Green and black, okay. Uh oh. Oh, whoa! Okay. Green and black, that's uh. That's the shuriken, baby. Oh, hey, DDD, what's up? Oh, you gonna launch me? Yeah! There we go. Nice. What that means is I can't go back. That's okay. All these levels are fairly short. All things considered. Oh, let's get Rock Cutter. Rock Cutter is a really good one. No! Ah! Hold on, let me try and get it again. I'm gonna have to go back to the rock guy. No, wait, the rock guy was before, wasn't he? I don't know, I don't remember actually. Let's. Ooh, fingers crossed. Rock cutter is a fun one. No, oh, yeah, he was before the launch, man. That bums me out. Well, whatever. I just didn't know what the deal was.
I didn't know the deal. Ugh, excuse me. Drink it, Dr. Uh, Mr. Pib. Oops. Ow, stop. Yeah, so many of these mini bosses are just larger versions of the guys you already fight. So get them. Slam them. Cram them. And go. Oh, how am I supposed to get that? Ah. Yeah, black and green again. Okay. Let me guess when I go on here, it's gonna. Yep. It's going to tilt. Sneaky, sneaky. Ooh, but this one's like a seesaw, right? Nope. It's the same. Oh, geez, three of them log. Careful, careful. Ah, no. Jeez Louise, they just hammer you down. Left and right, what was I supposed to do there? I like that, uh... If you suck on one of them for long enough, They just explode from sheer pressure. There we go, tomato. Nice. Tomato guy. Yo, look at these little sea angels. I don't remember these guys. Oh right, you gotta touch the ground before you can, uh, swallow. Pretty sure the missiles are bomb. This makes sense. Oh, they're both bomb, I guess. Wow! Missiles. That's pretty sweet. I don't like how wide Kirby opens his mouth for that. It's a little uncomfortable, but. Oh, are they homing? That's pretty sick. That's pretty disgusting, bro. Is there like stuff on the ground I'm missing? Nah, I don't care. Why'd they let me swim if it's not good to swim? Yeah. Oh, oh, you can't go back. You gotta just choose your direction, huh? This would be one with a shard, huh? Right? That's usually how this goes. I don't know, maybe they'll break with convention. Maybe they'll surprise me. Yep, hold on. I can loop back around. Ouch, ouch. Ooh, watch out. Mm, they're splody. Uh, get up. Get that shard. Yes, good. All right. Oof. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Ah, no. Big rip. Are these bomb? Because they do be exploding. Guess I can't know.
Uh, uh, uh. Why can't I go lower than that? Yeah. Down here. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, let me get it. Ah, oh, that's baloney. Well, I'll get it another time. Okay, okay. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Ah, I remember this mini boss being a pain. Because of the current. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm frozen. Whoops. I'm frozen. Can't I can't do anything. He can't hit me. So I guess we gotta try again. That gives me another shot. Some of the stuff I missed. Just crank down as fast as we can. I don't need any of these stars, really. Just want sh the sh I don't need the stars, I need the shards. Go over top of y'all. Well, isn't this a delightful romp through the deadly valley of falling boulders? Do, 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 do. There it is. Ooh. Some snacks. Or don't mind if I do. Do I dare? I do, I do. Good guy. Alright, and then we'll just whoop. We'll just swing up. More or less as quickly as we can. Uh, uh oh, do I have to get this shard again? I think I do. Nope, oh, it's just a blue star now, but that's useful. All right, so let's try not to guff this one up again. Careful, careful. Careful, kids. Ooh, you don't want to get curbed now, do you? Y'all remember what happened to your buddy Curbid, don't you? Yeah, there it is. Ooh. And then I actually want to... Uh, no! I hate that crab, man. Ah, oh, the crabs are so annoying because they're like invulnerable when they get into their, their click clacking. No, that's not what I did. Okay, let's keep the shard. Let's Let's get that It'll make this boss fight a lot easier it's Still pretty difficult But you know at least I'll have a Projectile Makes it you know Gives me a little more room to maneuver Oop. 
There we go. Yeah, guy. No shard down here? Okay. Yeah. And through. Is that the end? Ooh, not quite. Hoping that'd be the finish line. Ooh, I gotta, yeah, I gotta elevate a little quicker, I guess. Ice cream. Youch. Why must you hit Kirby? He's good little boy. He's good the helpful friend. This Kirby. Why must you be so rude to him? I do not understand. There we go. Halfway. Bam. Oh, let me tell you. That was a tough one. All right, now we'll do the boss. Oh, I'll call it a night. Oh, look at this squishy little whale. Squishy little guy. So squish. I spin. I spin out stuff. I'm gonna guess that Cutter is the correct choice considering that's what he's firing at me. Watch out! Get him. Get him. Oh, 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 come on back. Come on back. I just won't get you. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah, much easier than the second boss. Way easier than the second boss. My goodness. All right, that'll do it since yesterday was a bit longer than I expected it to be and all that. Oh, wait a minute. Is that not the end? I guess there's more to this boss. Oh, do I have to escape? As everything collapses around me? Oh, there's more boss. Okay. Okay, that's why it was so easy. That was just the first phase. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah, I got him on the back. Ah, ah, no. Ah! Fell below the screen. Oh, boy. Give me some kata. He's munching. Oh, he's crunching. Uh oh. Oh, I froze up again. What is this? I keep freezing up. Ah, oh, that's the one I wanted. Yeah, that's the guy. Alright, got him hit. Whoa! And then we watch him. Okay, there he is. Cut him up. Get him up. No, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah! No! Yeah. Here we go. Whoops. Ooh, watch out. He's just a chonky fella. Oh, jeez. Alright, and then I'm gonna get rid of that because I believe I can get a better thing. 
up here in the tube. Thing which does not freeze me in place. Come on now, come on now. Give me them bomb boys. I saw them bomb boys. Oh no, I don't have anywhere to swallow it. Oh no, I should have kept the cutter. Bumped me. He bumped me good. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so close. No touchy. Don't touch me. Ah! Get a little, a little close. Ah, I was hoping. That's alright. Ha ha ha. Dang, he do be a big old squishy fella, though. Just like Kirby. Why must we fight? We have so much in common. Squish. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. That was close. But I got it. Alright, that's three worlds. In the bag. Let's watch this ending cutscene, and then I'll call it a night, but I'll probably do a longer stream next week, you know? Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Good work, Kirby. You're a champion. Alright, and then we go to the jungle one. Neo Star. Well, I'm glad, uh. Yeah, I'm surprised at how many extra glitches there were. I didn't expect as many as that, but, uh, I'll create a suspend point to be safe. Just in case anything happens with the save file, but that'll do it for tonight. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope to see you next week. Whoops, that's the wrong one. There it is. I hope to see you guys next week for, uh, Monday is Miscellaneous Monday. I'm gonna be playing some weird thing and then uh friday and saturday will be my main game which is kirby for now you know i will probably finish it next week and then after that hopefully i'll be able to do card shark or i might do something just to fill it in probably uh link's awakening you know almost done with that so we can finish that off but yeah in any case thank you very much for watching please follow and subscribe check out my socials down below i got twitter i got youtube i got a stream archive on youtube that has all my past streams I have a Discord. Check all those out, you know, join up. Love to hear from all of you guys, and uh, yeah, hope to see you on Monday for Miscellaneous Mondays, and in any case, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. All right, let's see who we have to raid over to tonight. I believe I saw Loco and, uh, Loco and the Skeleton streaming a minute ago, so let's see what's up with them. Still on? They're still on. Cool. Ah, they're playing Minecraft. Cool. So, yeah. I'll raid it over to them. Y'all let them know I sent ya. Enjoy some Minecraft gaming. And uh, I'll see y'all next week, okay? Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.